Hello everyone, happy November, hope you're all well. Um, it's been a little while since I came on to do one of these videos about different things to try and help with what you're going through, whatever stage you're at in your spiritual or personal journey. And today I wanted to talk about letting go. What is it? How do we do it? What does it mean? Is it different for different people? Um, I have a lot of clients and I myself talk a lot about letting things go and you know getting rid of things that we feel like are holding us back. But we put a lot of negative connotations on that. When we talk about letting go of something, it's not always a nice thing that we might be remembering. So for example, we may be in a relationship with someone and it may be that we feel like we need to let that person go. Um, that could be out of our life completely that could be out of the relationship but I think the thing that we find really difficult to actually let go of is all of the good memories and all the good things that have happened you know it could be like leaving the job for example we may think that we need to let go of that job and move on to our next um, career or place of work but we're scared of those memories those good memories they're the things that hold us back Generally, when we have to make a really tough decision in life, we find that there are certain things that are holding us back because we've been conditioned to live in fear, right? This is something that I talk about a lot of my friends. It might not be something that you're quite familiar with, but we're all in a place, we're all op oppressed and living in a place of fear because that's when we control people with fear, they do what we want. They don't argue. They don't want to get outside the box because they feel they're going above their station. But actually, living in fear is the best, well, coming out of fear, it's the best thing you can do. It's exciting, you don't know where things are going to lead to. Yeah, you might be really anxious quite a lot of the time. Um, I'm speaking from experience. But that's a good thing. It's good to feel healthy. It's good to feel, you know, excited with fear. You know, it's like when you go for a job interview and you're super excited, but you're really, really bricking it as well, and you've got the butterflies in your tummy. That's a great thing to have. So talking about letting go... You know, as I've said to many people before, and I've probably said to you guys before, within the body we have all of these chakras, and we have um, points in the body which can withhold energy. Now, every single physical ailment that we have, or mental ailment, comes from an energy blockage in the body, which is an emotional um, suppressant, suppressing, suppressing? Uh, something that we've suppressed emotionally is what I'm trying to say. So if we don't let go of those things and we can't move forward, right, generally those things are negative. They're not things that we are thinking about in a positive light because they wouldn't be blocking us. They were helping us flow. It's all about you know, love and positive energy. But when we think about situations where you know, there was maybe a negative influence on that time, it's really hard to get past the whole situation with that person because we have all of those good things putting us back hopefully you're still on track with me at this point um so when we talk about letting go you don't have to you know let go of all of the good things that have happened actually though remembering those good things is is great because you're honoring that experience you know what it's what it's taught you and you know the people you may have met or the relationships you've had or the love that you shared to look back on something and only see the negatives is not good either. You know, we should be seeing the positives in every single experience. So I know I'm personally doing it myself and I'm trying to encourage my clients to, when we let go, you know, you can let go of the negative energy, you know, that's holding you back, that you feel isn't pushing you forward to learn these new positive experiences. But it doesn't mean you have to let go of everything, which I think we often think that we need to do but you don't need to do that you can look back on fun times and in the workplace or in a relationship or maybe somewhere that you've lived or family member you know it, it's it doesn't all have to be negative and I think sometimes we have to you know g ourselves up to to say that it has to all be negative to be able to get past something but that's not the case at all if you find yourself dwelling on something you're finding it really difficult to let go of something um, an exercise that I like to do myself is I like to write down what it is that I'm trying to let go of. So say, for argument's sake, it's with a relationship. 
So it may be that I feel like I need to write a letter to that person and I write down, you know, all of the good things that happened, all of the bad things that happened, but, you know, I'm letting them go now and I don't, you know, want to feel dragged down by their energy or the, the um, emotions of them anymore and I send them off with love. And that could be the same as, you know, a work place or a work relationship or something. You know, you may feel very frustrated but you're ready to let go and, you, you know, you might write down all the things that you've learned all of the things that you didn't like and then you send that place off that can really really help um obviously you know that i'm a complete crystal geek and i love to use crystals um if i am struggling with a particular emotional energy i use citrine quite a lot um it's a yellow crystal i haven't got some here but i'll put a picture up after i've posted this video so you guys can see it if you're on my YouTube channel, come over to my Facebook page and you'll see a picture of citrine on it, or you can Google it. Um, I find that a really good uh, emotional release of crystal. I also use calcite quite a lot, um, and amethyst, another one of my favourite pieces, just to help you know focus on what it is that you actually want to get out of the letting go, acknowledge that there were some good times, but then you know removing the negative energies from that. So hopefully you feel a little bit clearer about what letting go actually is. Because, you know, a lot of the time I found myself thinking, well, what are we actually letting go of in this situation? We all say, oh, you need to let her go or let him go or you need to let go of that job. But what does that actually mean? It's quite an ambiguous term. So hopefully I have explained that to you in this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. My nails are awful. I'm not quite sure why I just did that. Um... Or you can DM me, whatever your choice. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are well. I can't believe that it's the 11th month already of the year. This year has gone so quickly. So many things are happening. Uh, but I hope you're all keeping well and managing to um, not be bogged down too much by this current retrograde. Any questions, message me. If not, I shall come on again soon.